Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. We're on our way to an air-cooled Porsche event in city of Costa Mesa, California. It should be a pretty good one. I mean, it's a surfboard shop called Almond Surfboards, and I guess they have like surfboards with the Porsche logo on them. So let's see what they have out there. I'm gonna pull up an EM3, but the idea is we're gonna go check out some Porsches. You guys keep watching, stay tuned. Guys, do me a favor and make sure you click that subscribe button. Guys, we made it out, we made it out. We're here at Almond Surfboards. We're gonna go check out some Porsches and see a lot of cars that came out. Uh, as I'm walking in, check this car out. It's a E30. Uh, the five series BBS wheels. He has the Recaro seats. Two door coupe with the proper transmission, the manual transmission, really, really cool. I like it, I like it. And the cool thing about these E30s is you can get a wide body kit and make it look like the E30 M3, which the E30 M3 is a little bit rare. So it's really cool to see the vintage E30 body styles out here. Yeah, so we're walking in and we're looking at these beauties. BBS LMs, Recaro seats. This Recaro seats, BBS LMs, manual, it's almost like the recipe out here in Orange County, man. I'm telling you. This one's really cool. Yellow seatbelt, silver. Really proper stance on this one. Nine nine six turbo. Check out this bug right here. Red bug. We're almost like perfect interior. Really, really clean interior. You know, these are air cooled. This is pretty much considered an air cooled event. Let's check out what this guy has going on this 914. What are we looking at, guys? 74 914, two liter with a SUVI motor in it. Let me check that motor out. Is it visual or? Yeah, I mean, you can see it from the top. That's about it. Mid engine stuff. So, how much power are you pushing on this one? It's got about 225 to the wheels and it weighs right around 2250 without me in the car. <laughs> Hey, two t uh, that's super light. Yeah. That's super light. It's, it's a ride to drive. It's yeah, a super yeah. Have you like tried to dyno it or anything? No, I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's a driver. I like the oh, color really choice. Like is this like a signal green? This is actually a Lamborghini paint coat. Verde Ithaca, it's a three-stage metallic paint. Oh, so man. It's a Lamborghini paint coat. Almost like the pearl metallic yep, yep. coming out of it. Uh, so it's, a, it's a hurricane paint color. Man, that's a nice, that's a nice color. And I mean, it does look exotic. Now that I'm seeing like the pearl kind of come out in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually the perfect time to see it because I bet in your garage you can't really, you can't tell, that you can't really tell all that. And it's got like the 914.6 uh, steel fender flares on it. So I it's see a little it. Long. Congrats, Thank man. You, I like Thank it. You. Oh man, I love the paint color on this one. Look how it just matches. So if you guys know the paint color, put that down in there, but it really, really looks like in a certain light, it could be kind of like a cream color and other versions, it could be almost like a greenish color, so. Yeah, guys, we're, we're inside now. And air cooled. Wow, wow, look at this Speedster. Richard and Nancy Eaton, 1958. Really, really clean interior. No copy. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because a lot of guys build these cars from like a, I guess a kit car. But they're just stating like, hey, ours is actually original. High quality color for sure. Yeah, really, really. Nice air cooled cars. <laughs> this one looks like an olive green. They did call it right here golden green, so I'm not sure if that's the actual name or what it is. 
sometimes there's only four heads. This looks like a more of a houndstooth interior. Manual, black, and then they have the Porsche surfboard on top. Really cool. You can kind of tell they use it also. So, really good look. Has a uh, blue with some houndstooth seats, wooden steering wheel, uh, very nice polished chrome on the sides, the driver's side mirror. Really, really classic. Super high end looking. So what they did is they actually squeezed in a few cars all in one section. And we can kind of walk through and just enjoy the view at the end of the day. That's why we're here, enjoying the view. You know, a lot of these are 912s and uh, G bodies, F bodies, 964s. We haven't really seen a 993 out here yet, I don't believe, but we definitely see a lot of a lot of the more vintage versions of them guys check out this 356 it's like an olive green 356 has a sunroof on top brown interior seats this one actually looks lower I'm pretty sure they don't come this low but it's a good stance for the rear look at this 964 BBS E88s Recaro seats. Oh man, I'm telling you guys, this is the recipe right here. Yeah, it looks great. It's like a dark gray. It looks black, but it's actually like a dark gray. Carbon fiber intakes in the rear. Yeah, so this is considered more modified, more like the unstocked version. He has a center exhaust exits. Look at the color of the hood slash trunk. So. This is almost like a brushed aluminum on here, so, and it, it has holes. Here goes a red 356. Yeah, red 356. Really, really high quality condition. If you guys can kind of see the quality, it's almost like perfect. This is definitely on the pricier side uh, when it comes to 356s. Yes, Carrera RS. It looks like a Mexico blue, so it all matches. The seats have like a dark blue insert, same with the interior steering wheel. Yeah, this is a very special, special car for sure. There's another one here it has a special design on the side of the door to the rear fender. Manual sunroof. Yeah, interesting design. The design is Martini Racing. Yeah, these are all very, very nice. Brown with the tartan seats inside. It goes white with the black and it has the actually Carrera black lettering there on the side of the body. Yeah, so this is air cooled heaven right here, guys. So, so many beautiful air cooled cars all in one place. Good morning. Speedster 356. Tan interior. And look, he has a Nurburgring. Uh, logo here i haven't seen this one i've seen a lot of logos but that's a cool one a lot of these cars might have history we you know you don't necessarily know where the owners are when you come to these events but i'm sure there's a lot of history with some of these cars for whatever reason i i like i like either 964s or earlier very cool very cool mint green 964s i mean are in the world well there's there's no way to really tell but 964s were it were unique to begin with there's fewer targets i think there was roughly seven or eight hundred made through the whole production run i figure there can't be 10 mint green cars i can about guarantee you the one that's parked across the street is probably the nicest one <laughs> around because it's this guy has confidence he has a confidence paint so look car. At the car. <laughs> yeah it's an original paint yeah we're car. gonna have to go take a look at his car 964 mint 
Uh, which, by the way, mint is a very, very hot color today. Today. So imagine how hot it was back then. Well, but, you know, Porsche has always been experimental with their colors. You know, the mint greens, the, the ruby stars. Yeah, the, the ruby the stars. Maritime yeah, blues, yeah. Those were all Carrera Cup, yeah. you know, uh, colors early yeah, yeah. on. Yeah. And they were also IROC series colors. Oh, there you go. Really cool, very man. Nice meeting you, man. Look at this super clean red. It's almost like a glass, guys. Really, really good. 4S, that wide body rear. Kind of gives you like a turbo feel back there. Oh, wow, look at this. Like a lime green 964 with the big whale fin in the rear. Carrera on the side, so super cool. Black interior. You know, with these older cars, you're looking for like the quality of the seals, the paint. We do know a lot of these get restored, but some of them stay in, in really, really cool condition. 912. It has the Luft stickers and he had a little sticker of his car, which is really cool. Hey, there he is, there he is. Yeah, black interior, manual. Oh, you got a Ford. Yeah, so you're having fun in this thing. I'm having fun. So he has a 912 with a VW motor swap inside of here and what we're gonna do is actually just see how it looks you know how it fits okay it still looks nice yeah, yeah. it's still good the, 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 that's the same one i was in my seven basically this would have been on the back right and then the coil would go up there but otherwise it's pretty much the same but this is a two piece instead of a three piece that's mm -hmm. the main difference mm -hmm. but it really is the same yeah yeah <laughs> it just yeah. sits a little further a little lower yeah the beauty of a 912 is it sits 12 inches back than 911 yeah or 12 inches forward, Four. so you get better. Yes, but this back. motor sits even further back uh, and it rubs. So more of a 911. Closer, but your 911 actually comes a lot further out still. Just a little bit, yeah. yeah. Really cool, man. Really, really good. This is the dream, guys. Turbo 964, manual, black on black. So good. Guys, check out this Targa yeah, so for, like, uh, this is, like, blue exterior. Uh, but what's interesting is so this rear part being rear, open. Rear, yeah. okay. so, like, I haven't like seen anything part, like this. Yeah, 912 Targa, interesting paint color. It looks like really clean condition. Seats look perfect inside. The top pops off, so then this this was kind of their version of a convertible. So oh, they didn't I make see, a convertible that time. I see. Okay. So this. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. That must be interesting. Yeah. So you can actually pop everything off, have this open. Yeah. So this uh, will come off, and then you just have windows the, down. And you just have the target. That's interesting. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, summer. man, I, I like yeah. that one. Yeah. Very nice color. What color is this? Yeah, golf blue. Golf blue. Very, very yeah, rare. Yeah. That's the original color of the car. Oh yeah. man. Original motor. It's all numbers matching. Oh man. So we found it. Um, yeah, we found it and just basically brought the paint back. Yeah, um, yeah. They had loops on it, so we found date coated wheels for it. Okay, okay. Um, the, the interior is original, except we just redid the seats. Look at this red wide body back here. Really, really aggressive tire setup. Red roll cage. Hey, you can't go wrong with these for sure. This event actually goes to 11, so a lot of cars are still pulling up. Look at this turbo, beautiful color. Guys, check out this Mint 964 Targa. And what I really like is that I was speaking with the owner earlier, and this is an actual OEM PTS color. He didn't get it repainted or, or anything. He just got it reconditioned. Uh, it has a board surfboard on top to match, as well as the tartan seats inside that kind of match with the paint outside also. So really cool. I love the license plate, mint T. Yeah, really, really good. 911 T. Really cool purple color. Look at this logo. Really interesting logo. 962 Le Mans. Ruby red. 
super beautiful. Love the kick spoiler in the rear. So good. And look at this yellow one. Really good. She also has her yellow outfit with the yellow purse. 911S. Single fin, air-cooled engines, Porsche on the top. So what we're gonna do is walk inside, see what their shop is like. Inside, says Allman up there. Yeah, so here we are, guys. Good morning. Almond surfboards. Yeah, really, really cool shop. There's actual Porsche shirts here, air cooled Porsche shirts. Porsche logos on top. A lot of Porsche love in this. Guys, check out this ruby red. Blue interior with the uh, tartan ruby red kind of accents in there that match with the paint on the outside. Yeah, manual. And I love this ducktail back here. 2.7 Ren Sport Reunion logo there. Just showing you, you know, what he's happiest about. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys click thumbs up. Uh, tell a friend. I appreciate you guys. Peace.